Hi there, Smart Drivers. Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about hazard perception. This is video number 15 in the Veda series. Stick around, we'll be right back with that information. Hi there, Smart Drivers. Welcome back. Talking to you today about hazard perception. Conditions that could come together in the driving environment that potentially could lead to a crash. Now, if you're new to Smart Drive Test, Smart Drive Test helps new drivers get a license, veteran drivers to remain crash free, and CDL drivers to start a career as a truck or bus driver. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well, hit that bell, that way you'll get instant notification when I get the videos up for you. Now, I had a comment from Shyama, and Shyama wanted some information about skills and abilities that could be put in place to protect yourself when you're proceeding through an intersection and facing left-hand turning vehicles and in the event that those left-hand turning vehicles either misjudge the gap or turn in front of you uh, mistakenly. One of the things that you can do is cover the brake as you're proceeding through the intersection. That way you're not going to slow down, you're not going to speed up, but it cuts down on your reaction time and if something does happen, you're going to get the vehicle stopped sooner. As well, you want to increase your scanning and you want to try and get eye contact with the driver. And one of the reasons that hazard perception is so difficult for new drivers is because of the six factors in the driving task that can come together in any combination of abilities, tasks, vehicles on the roadway, and conditions. And those six components are vehicle, driver, light, weather, traffic, and road. And if you take any section of roadway on two different times, you're going to have completely different vehicle set and you're going to have completely different drivers with different abilities and uh, reaction time in the driving environment. And that's why driving is so complex and hazard perception is so difficult to determine for newer drivers because in one situation, a traffic situation is going to be completely dangerous and in another situation is going to be completely innocuous and means, in other words, nothing's going to happen. However, if you do encounter a situation where it could potentially culminate into a crash, cover the brake, scan more, and in extreme situations, if, this, if the intersection is simply blocked or your path of travel is blocked, especially on a road test, simply stop, wait for the other road users or other vehicles on the roadway to clear because it won't take very long and they'll be cleared out of the way. So know that for the purposes of a road test, that if you're in doubt, just bring the vehicle to a stop and wait for other vehicles on the roadway to clear, and that way you can proceed. I'm Rick for Smart Drive Test. For more great videos, click here. To subscribe, click here. Check out the great course right here. Thanks very much for watching. Good luck on your road test. And remember, pick the best answer, not necessarily the right answer. Have a great day. Bye now.